everybody, this is Max Prime, Preacher Sunday. We got to see a very epic episode of Preacher, AMC's Preacher, that debuted tonight. First things first, let's start off with the episode. The episode tonight started off with a very good intro. We got to see 1881 and we got to see the Saint of Killers. If you don't know who the Saint of Killers is, please, 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 please pick up an issue of Vertigo Preacher. Uh, the Saint of Killers is a comic book character based in Jesse's universe where the Saint of Killer has divine superhuman ability. He is also known as the Angel of Death. Yes, we got to see the teaser of the Saint of Killer. Uh, basically, he will go after Jesse in the comic book because he is sent by heaven to basically eradicate the entity that exists within Jesse's body. We go back to present day and we see Jesse and he's doing baptisms, talking to Tulip. Uh, we got to see a really, really great scene when the actual, the other group of killers come to basically extract the entity out of Jesse's body. Yes, that was a gruesome scene as you know, they sing their little tune to try to get the entity to come about. They have to take out a chainsaw and all of a sudden Cassidy walks in on them and it's a slaughterhouse literally blood everywhere Cassidy kills them thinking that they're after him maybe like you know vampire hunters or whatever the you know again the the associated killers that are after Cassidy Cassidy's thinking it's them while preachers pass out on the ground and we got to see a nice little bloodbath in the house in, in the church and Cassidy stops the bad guys later in the episode we got to see preacher talking to uh, one of his uh, one of his members of his church who actually is having a problem uh, I guess fantasizing after a little girl. Towards the end of the episode, we got to see Preacher uh, basically break down the door of this guy's house, go in and use the power or the word, as you will, because that is Jesse's power, the word, and tells him to forget her. And literally the guy just like doesn't even know who he's talking about. He freaks out like, what did you do to me? Epic scene. So towards the end of the episode, we get to see another person that actually used to go to Jesse's church which is uh, this little girl who's actually in a coma. Um, and Jesse now knowing that after he said that to the guy, he now believes that he has the power or inf of influence over people. And he goes and tells the girl to open her eyes. Great. I thought the key moments of this episode was A, of course, Cassidy attacking the guys. B, those Watcher guys actually coming back into the episode because it seems like they just came right back to life again? Or is that just another set of them? Please, fans of Preacher, let me know in the comments what you think about that, as well as C, Jesse discovering his abilities of the word. And now that he has that, we've seen in a tre teaser for next week's episode, the possibilities, and the possibilities of he now has new abilities, he, he's totally aware of it. If you didn't miss, if you didn't watch it, please watch it, I'll leave it in, the com in my comments below or my little description on how to watch AMC's Preacher. I'm Max Prime. And I'm out. Later.